Hey what's up guys, this is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Now today's video is going to be super interesting and a bit different than what I usually do. It will be more like an educational video. We will be talking about routers guys. Yes, in today's video I will tell you why you should actually go and buy a dual band router instead of a single band. Now most of the people in 2019 are still using single band routers like my friends, some of my family members, uh, even you guys might be using a single band router. The reason for that maybe is it's very affordable, actually single band routers are very cheap guys so that may be the primary reason why people are buying the single band routers. But actually by investing a little more you will be getting a dual band router and a dual band router offers so many huge benefits compared to the single band routers. It's got a lot of features guys which actually make it worth buying a dual band router compared to a single band router. So in this video I'll be comparing a single band and a dual band router and I'll tell you what all sort of benefits, improvements you get by getting a dual band router. So let's get started with the video. So these are the two routers I'll be using in this video. One is a single band router and the other one is a dual band router. So the primary difference between both of these is a single band router only has a one Wi-Fi band. It offers only 2.4 GHz band and the speeds on it is very limited. The range is also very less. It gives you a very less Wi-Fi coverage. Now this router is mostly preferred by people who live in small places guys. Like if you're a person living in an apartment who just watches some videos, browses the internet, this will do your job. But this router limits your productivity. If you want to step up your game, you definitely need to go for the dual band router. Now this router offers two bands guys, 2.4 GHz and also 5 GHz band. The speed on this thing is next level, it's way better than this one. And also the Wi-Fi range is very high on this router guys. So definitely speed, coverage, all are better on this dual band router. And also just as I've told you, the range is high on it. If you're living in a big apartment, like a big building, this will definitely cover your entire building. A dual band router comes very handy in such situations. And one more thing I'd like to tell is we are living in 2019 guys, everybody is moving away from HD and going to 4K and in those cases if you want to play games in 4K online or you want to stream videos in 4K, this thing is not going to help you. You definitely need a dual band router for such things. So I'd say I'll give it definitely a plus point for this dual band router in that case. And signal strength is also another key factor. The signal strength on single band routers is not that strong enough. This will have a huge impact on the Wi-Fi performance, whereas the dual band routers are designed to offer better signal strengths and are much more stable. Talking about the build quality, when you are investing more money you will definitely see a better build quality. Now let's do a real world performance test and see how much difference we get in terms of Wi-Fi speeds and coverage. First let's test on the single band router. As you can see right now I'm connected to single band router. The router is placed on the same floor but in a different room far from me. Let's do a speed test and see the results. I'm using a 100 Mbps plan from Act Fiber, so let's see how this router performs. As you can see these budget single band routers are not able to provide even 50% of my ISP speed. I should actually be getting more than 90 Mbps but this router is only offering a max speeds of up to 45 Mbps on an average. That means there is 40 to 50% loss in speed. And this is a case when I'm doing this test on the same floor. When I did a speed test on the ground floor connected to this router, I got an awful speed of 20 to 25 Mbps. So by looking at these results, we can say that single band routers are not at all suitable for medium or large houses. Your internet speed is also being limited just because of your router. Now let me connect the dual band router and see how that stacks up in competition compared to the single band model. As this is a dual band model, we've got two Wi-Fi bands, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. 5 GHz band offers very fast Wi-Fi speeds but at a shorter distance. So the coverage on this band is a bit less. Whereas 2.4 GHz band offers great coverage but the Wi-Fi speeds are a bit less. So the advantage here is, a dual band router helps you automatically switch between these bands to offer you the best performance depending on where you are in your home. Now let's do a quick speed test and see the results. I am doing this test on the same location connected to the same ISP with 100 Mbps plan. Now that is what I am talking about. You guys see the difference in speeds? We are getting almost 2 times faster speeds on a dual band router. My plan is 100 Mbps and this router is delivering nearly 96 to 97 Mbps both up and down. That means there is a huge improvement in performance and very less loss in the speeds. No matter where you are in your home, you will get much better Wi-Fi coverage, signal strength and high speeds on a dual band router compared to the single band model. And one final thing that sets them apart is, dual band routers come with smart app based monitoring features which include real time network monitoring, 
bandwidth prioritization, guest network support, parental controls and also VPN services. So taking all these factors into consideration, you should now clearly know which router you'll be choosing next time. The price difference between both the models is also not that high. These single band routers cost somewhere around 1000 rupees whereas the dual band routers are priced for 1500 to 2000 rupees. So that was it for today guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video and got to learn something new. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.